Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith. In Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. Not of, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something that we didn't earn and something we don't deserve that God gave. His only begotten son that whosoever believe, that's the key word, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you believe? You admit you're a sinner in need of Jesus. That's how you believe. Once you come to the end of yourself, put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus and accept him as Savior, then you're saved. It doesn't get any simpler than that. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will change you. He's your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you, period. I'm coming in a little bit late this morning. Um, this just came to me um, earlier this morning. And let me find this one right here. I guess um, Russia, this has gotten way out of hand. And I think it's going to get a lot worse. Russian forces are firing rockets at a physics institute in Kharkiv, which contains nuclear material and a reactor. So Ukraine's National Security Service has claimed all this. A strike on the nuclear facility could lead to a, a large scale, says a large scale ecological disaster. The security service warned. It claimed that Moscow's uh, Moscow's forces are firing missiles from a truck mounted uh, grad launchers, which do not have precise targeting, raising concerns that one could go astray. Now, this just came out this morning. I think Amir said something about this, too. Um, the Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology houses a nuclear research facility called Neutron Source in the active zone of which 37 nuclear fuel cells are said to be loaded. Uh, footage published by Ukraine's Ministry of Internal Affairs on Facebook showed blasts hitting the building, supposedly at the Kharkiv Institute, but there was no immediate reports of any damage to the nuclear materials inside. I think they're going to keep doing it until they damage it or blow it up. I don't know, but this is this is pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> it goes on to say, um, it just comes days after a fire broke out at Europe's largest nuclear power plant, which was captured by Russian troops. Uh, Washington's ambassador told United Nations delegates the following day that, by the grace of God, the world has narrowly averted a nuclear catastrophe. Yeah, it was by God's grace. But that's not going to last long. Not for this world. And not for him. Um, commanding the plants, uh, the plant's Ukrainian operation operators for their ability to keep the plant's reactors in a safe condition while under attack. Um, you, uh, Ukraine's President Zelensky has also warned that Russian troops, having also seized Chernobyl, are advancing on the third nuclear plant. Now, one of these plants are going to blow. I don't know. Addressing U.S. Senators on Saturday, Mr. Zelensky said that while Vladimir Putin's forces have taken their first major city in Kherson and have circled Kharkiv and other areas there, 
was inflicting uh, losses on the occupants they could not see in their worst nightmare. Now, I did, <clears throat> I did see another article where they are assassinating uh, civilians there. The Kremlin said on Sunday that Mr. Putin told his Turkish counterpart Recep Erdogan that Russia's military action in Ukraine could be halted only if Kiev ceases hostilities and fulfills the well-known demands of Russia. In the wake of the fire uh, at that other, I can't pronounce that name, the other plant, experts said that the shelling had been unlikely a trigger unlikely to trigger a Chernobyl, a Chernobyl style nuclear disaster. Why are they targeting power, nuclear power plants then? I'm gonna link this in the description box. This, this war is worrisome to say the least and like I was telling Matt earlier today, it's, it seems it's, it's getting worse because now Russia's out of control right now and they don't care. That's the bad part. I'm going to link this in the description box and um, I'm sure other stuff will be up later. So I'll be back with another video later. Um, thank you for your support. Again, thank you for your prayers. Um, we need them. What I meant to say yesterday, we are looking for a place. Either we're going to move or we're going to be raptured, which is the same thing as moving. So, but we appreciate your prayers. I appreciate them. I appreciate your support and I will continue to pray for you all. Thank you.